Asthma. It's a common chronic disease, and an estimated 31,000 West Virginia youth suffer from it. In fact, West Virginia has one of the highest rates of asthma in the nation. As teachers and coaches, you spend numerous hours with youth every day. That's why it's important that you understand the disease and know the necessary steps in protecting your students and athletes from a serious asthma attack. What is asthma? Asthma is a chronic lung disease that affects your breathing. During an asthma attack, it's difficult to catch your breath. The airways in the lungs narrow and get blocked with mucus, making it even more difficult to breathe. During an asthma attack, the sufferer may feel as though they are breathing through a small straw. Asthma sufferers can experience attacks ranging from mild to severe and even life-threatening. Signs of an asthma flare-up include coughing, wheezing, shortness of breath, and chest tightness. Many factors can contribute to an asthma attack. Common triggers include allergens like mold, pollen, pet dander, grass, and dust mites. Strong odors such as perfume, paint fumes, and cleaning products. Strong emotions, smoking or secondhand smoke, cold weather, and exercise. Exercise is good for everyone, including a person with asthma. In fact, a strong, healthy body can help combat the disease. However, if you have asthma, you need to take the necessary precautions to ensure you do not experience an attack. What causes exercise-induced asthma? When you engage in any form of exercise, you breathe faster and often inhale through your mouth. Breathing through your mouth causes the air to be cooler and drier, which can cause an attack. Sports that are played in cooler air or outdoors near allergens such as smoke and pollen can make the asthma symptoms worse. Asthma sufferers are capable of monitoring their breathing by using a peak flow meter. A peak flow meter helps the person with asthma and their physician monitor the severity of the asthma. An asthma sufferer should also have an asthma action plan which is created by their doctor. The asthma action plan is a detailed plan that instructs the person with asthma on what medications and steps to take based on their symptoms and peak flow rates. The instructions are divided into three categories. Green for go, yellow for caution, and red for danger. Teachers and coaches need to take an active role in making sure a child that suffers from asthma is safe during school activities and sports. According to the Coach's Asthma Clipboard Program, you should execute the following. Before the first practice, talk to your team members and parents about asthma. Request an asthma action plan from players who have asthma. Discuss specific measures that should be taken for that player if an asthma emergency should occur. When coaching, your attention cannot be in all places. So discuss and establish with your team a buddy system for the asthma player's safety. If a player with asthma is experiencing asthma symptoms, make the athlete stop the sport activity at once. Have another player get the athlete's parent if they are present. Do not leave the player with the asthma symptoms alone. Use the following guidelines to determine the severity of the attack. Follow the player's asthma action plan if available. Have the player use their rescue inhaler immediately. Encourage the player to sit up and breathe in slowly through the nose and out through pursed lips. Repeat these steps if necessary. Do not allow them to continue the sport until their symptoms are completely gone. If symptoms reoccur, pull the player from the remainder of the practice or game. You also need to know what to look for if the player's asthma attack becomes more serious. You should call 911 if the player's rescue medication does not seem to be alleviating symptoms, their lips or nail beds turn blue, the player is finding it difficult to speak, walk, or drink water, the player's nostrils are flaring out. You witness neck, throat, or chest retractions. The player is in obvious distress and seems confused, or the player's condition seems to be rapidly deteriorating. Athletes with asthma are more than capable of being one of your top-notch players. Together, you simply need to communicate and work out the necessary and specific steps to ensure their safety.